Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we're taking a real quick look at a brand new 2024 Coachman Catalina 343BHTS. Now I did do a video on the bunkhouse version of this floor plan a few months ago, so you might remember that version. Uh, if not, check it, that out for a much longer, more detailed tour. But I wanted to do a real quick tour of this version just to kind of show you what it looks like with two queen beds. So when you do it with the two queen bedroom, there is no outdoor kitchen here like on the bunk model. This one also was ordered with that really nice optional feature of the auto level jacks. You got aluminum wheels, gas electric water heater, power awning, more ride handle here, more ride entrance step. But going on up into the RV, the big difference between the one I videoed previously and this one is going to be this optional queen bedroom back here. So on the one I videoed previously, you would have a little bit of cabinet space down here and a bunk above and then outdoor kitchen built into that cabinet space. But here on the two queen bedroom version, you got a lot of dresser space plenty of room to maneuver around back here. You get a little window there, but you get room for a couple of adults back here. There's storage under the bed. So this area right here is changeable depending on the option you pick. Get the bunks or get the two queen beds. Now the rest of the RV for the most part is about the same. But let's run through that real quick while you're here. So again, booth dinette makes bed, storage underneath, sofa makes a bed. Nice big windows overlooking the back side of the RV area here. You would have solar on board on this one. This one was ordered with solar panel, 30 amp charge controller, quite a bit of storage space here. Electric box with the breakers and fuses down below. bathroom over here so you got a skylight up above a little vent fan up there medicine cabinet area some little rope hook holders sink area some storage foot flush toilet you got that step in shower with the glass enclosure so a decent size bathroom Digital thermostat for your GE AC, and you got that propane furnace. You have 10.7 cubic foot GE refrigerator, GE stove, oven, and GE microwave as well. Electric fireplace over here. Room for a nice big TV. Got that JBL stereo down there, speaker up here, another vent up there as well. That GE ducted air. Now over here is going to be some controls. So you have like your slide buttons, awning button, some light switches, water pump, water heater on gas button. Uh, Bluetooth connectivity, so you can actually control some of this with an app. Now the front bedroom right here, the master bedroom, this again ordered with two ACs on this particular one. So you got a drop in AC here. Another bed slide out here. There's storage underneath of there as well. Look how big this closet is. Nice large closet here. That is the solar charge controller when you do that solar panel option on this thing. All right here you could do combo washer dryer, stack washer dryer. Uh, you could do just a closet if you want. But it's really nice to be able to have the ability to add a washer dryer in here if you want, especially if you're an extended stay customer that's actually got this thing set up somewhere and going there for the weekend trips or whatever. 
pretty large bedroom for an RV. TV hookups over there. All right, I wanna take a second, run you around the outside real quick here, just to kind of get you a better idea on the outside. So underneath you have spare tire. Again, this was ordered with the 5.3 auto level jack system. Super nice system. Hit a button, the thing auto levels itself. Very nice. Now, obviously you gotta be somewhat level. You can't be real crazy level, because uh, unlevel. The jacks are only so long, so they can't go extreme, but you kind of get the idea. Really nice to have auto level on a travel trailer. That's a rare thing to find. Uh, a couple JBL outdoor speakers here, power awning with a multi-color changing LED light, tinted windows. Love that more right handle and step right there. I like their fender skirt is metal instead of cheap plastic stuff. Low point water drains down there, gas line hookup down here so you could do a grill if you wanted to. And then you got that pet friendly leash latch holder. Got the little fold down rack here on the back. They do prepping for the rear observation camera and also prepped for a rear telescoping ladder you can get aftermarket if you want. Triple slide unit. There again, storage underneath the bed area here. Outside utility shower, black tank flush, city water inlet, and your detachable power cord. Dump area right here. There is gravity fill fresh water tank fill up here, cable inlet there, fresh water drain below, another dump area right here also. And then you have more storage underneath of this front bedroom. Nice rounded front, so if you are gonna travel with it, it's a little more aerodynamic than the uh, typical flat front RV. Now right here you have some important informational stickers, basically telling us gross vehicle weight, 10,800 pounds. It's the most you can load it up to, axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined, don't exceed that. Dry weight says it is 8,827 pounds with the options that were ordered on this one. Exterior length, 38 feet, four inches. Tire size, ST225 75R15 E range tire with an 80 PSI cold. If you're gonna travel with the RV, make sure you keep up with the tire pressure, very important. Lower diamond plate metal here, battery disconnect, 220 pound propane tanks, auto changeover regulator. You have this nice heavy duty jack here. Look how big the feet are on that thing. And then you have manual override, case of an electronic failure. You go in here and you can basically do your whole auto level system, kind of do what you need to do. There's instructions here as well. Very nice. All right, folks, thanks a ton for taking the time to watch my RV videos. I really do appreciate it. As always, please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you don't mind helping out my channel. And always check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys. One of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. Thanks again.